Well, the iPhone is about share of market, but consumer wearables, Sarah, is about share of growth. And there are estimates that the Apple Watch and the AirPod are going to be foundational for a next generation of various types of health tech products. Sensors and algorithms are getting better and smarter, and we can expect to see uh, some real innovations over the next couple of years. And the game change is not just the devices, it's the subscription services in health, which can be incredibly profitable and really big growth gainers for Apple. And not just Apple, Amazon is out there as well. John, as you said, this could be a game changer for the next generation uh, of uh, technology when it comes to how far away are we from this being a, a game changer? Well, I think it's already starting, Wilford, because uh, we've seen that the uh, trackers that have been tracking fitness, I'm talking Fitbit, Apple, uh, are now starting to pivot over to health tech. So Apple's already put in the ability to uh, track your EKG. Uh, and your AFib from a heart standpoint. Uh, we're going to see real innovations coming with glucose monitoring that's non-invasive. And so the ability to get accurate data and be able to transmit that data across networks going out to physicians uh, and consumers trust their physicians and doing that with privacy, which is an Apple hallmark, uh, is totally real. So this will be happening uh, not only with <laughs> Apple, but Amazon with their Amazon Prime Health and with their mm. Alexa Health is going to be in that game as well. So it's interesting. Uh, our reporter for CNBC.com, Chrissy Farr, has a piece up about how the new announcement around Apple's credit card brings it deeper into financial services. And we know it's going down the healthcare route. And it sort of speculates and, and cites some industry folks about whether Apple could get into the business of solving the problem of healthcare billing, combining the financial services with the healthcare data. Is that something that you think is realistic? Uh, I think it's totally realistic. Um, you know, it, it's taken a few years for the Apple Pay to uh, really get traction, but it's highly respected today. The uh, a deal that was put together by uh, the, uh, the app, app, Apple Pay and uh, being able to come out with a, a new credit card, uh, I think is a very significant deal with Goldman Sachs. So much of all of these new announcements, including uh, healthcare, which you're so positive on, relate to services. Do you think Apple has lost its previous edge in hardware? I don't think it's lost its edge, but, but I think in uh, high tech, Wilford, uh, you see things build on things. And now that there's an install base of incredible size with the iPhone, you're seeing Apple move into other related services that can fit into the Apple hardware ecosystem. But I think with consumer wearables, we're just at the early days of something that can be uh, extremely important. It may be the biggest gainer of share of growth of anything that Apple has. Not the largest share of market, but share of growth and probably very profitable share of growth with subscription services for health.